What are you looking at, bro? Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Will Tran with The Filmmaker's Code. Today we are on the set. It doesn't look too crazy right now, but we are on set doing a bit of a job shadow. I am a first AC on the set. We have our second AC holding this camera right here, actually. So say hi, introduce hey. yourself. I'm Danny. I'm second AC and filming Will today. <laughs> She's following me around with the camera today to get this video out for all of you. All right, so let's... Oops. House lights died again, so let's go over here. <laughs> today we're doing a lot of AC things, believe it or not. Uh, so we're going to walk around. Say hi to some of these people. Sky, Sky I'm filming uh, a job shot of video. What's up? So, introduce yourself. What, what are you doing? I'm Skylar. Uh, I'm gripping today. You're gripping today? Yep. With That's a, this go to gaff right here. Let's Tyler. Go. Ty. I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I hate your life, what's your name? Say hi to everybody. Okay, understood. Sound mixer, introduce yourself. Oh, hi. I'm the sound mixer, Boom Up. What else do I say? Your, your name. Oh, I'm Alma Zamora. Alma uh, Zamora. <laughs> I don't have an identity outside you, of sound. You don't have an identity outside of sound? <laughs> no. Understood. I, the same thing with me and cameras. So. Yeah. Makeup and hair. Hello. Hi. Introduce yourself. My name's Skylar Lanza. That's another Special Sky effects. <laughs> There's another Skylar on the set. That's actually kind of crazy. Special <laughs> effects makeup. Wow. That's what's up. Okay, well, fine. Fuck you too. You know, what's you up? Uh, I'm Ben Taylor. I'm the assistant director and editor. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm okay. Actually, per, she, she wasn't there like two minutes ago. Hey, Sam. Hey. Hi. Introduce yourself to my course. I'm Sam, and I've got to go get some boxing gloves right now. Okay. She's the producer, everybody. Producer. The most important thing about film sets applesauce. So the, true. the bloodline of film sets. That's all the wisdom I'm imparting. Thank you for that wisdom. I was not listening. All right, well, now that, our, now that our lights are back up, I'm going to go talk to Mr. DP Man. Okay. Hey, DP Man. Mr. DP Man. Howdy. I'm going to distract you from your job for a minute. <laughs> so introduce yourself to my filmmaking course. Uh, hello. I'm, uh, I'm Colin Pham. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm Daniel. I'm uh, DPing this film about some old dudes boxing. Oh, some old dudes boxing. Yeah, it's well, very exciting. It's exactly. going to be great. Okay, so this is the AC station right here. So what am I doing? I have my remote, my AC remote right here that I powered up. So if you take a look over here, so you can't see anything right now. Whenever we get a subject in there, you'll be able to see better, but I can indeed pull my focus from all the way over here. Anyway, so this right here is the AC monitor, whereas this big guy over here is the director's monitor. So whenever you're actually moving this around as an AC, what you typically want to do is well, I don't know why we're all the way back here, but generally you try to get this thing as close as you can to the action in the scene facing the talent. So say if I'm the, the reason for that is because if you're the director and you're watching the monitor over here and you want to get direction, you have to walk that way. Instead, you don't want it to be facing this way. If the monitor is facing this way, you don't want to turn around and go talk to the actors. It's just a convenience thing. That's generally what you do. Don't trip over that, Ty. But you're also probably wondering why am I not pulling from this one right here? It's just generally, the director's monitor is just so they can watch the performance on the screen. It's not, it's a little bit soft, I'm not gonna lie, which is why we use a small HD right here, which is a little bit sharper. You are tripping all over the place, Ty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I do pull from here right here on this monitor, so, cause it is just a little bit sharper for me to see the, the sharps. By the way, that's something you're gonna hear a lot as an AC. The director or the DP may tell you, can we get sharps? Which just basically means, can you pull the focus to get the subject to be sharp? Mr. Director Man, Hello. Colin Pham. This is actually Colin Pham, so I can't see you at all. Hold on, let me just go up to like 4,000 ISO just to see you. I do have two markers set. Because the camera is dollying in, the focus has to change because we're actually changing the distance between the actors, so the focus has to change. So I am setting those two markers between those two focus points and slowly racking to those points uh, as the camera moves. So I'm gonna let you guys in on how we pull focus. So this monitor right here, we turn on focus peaking or focus assist. You can see things turn red as we pull that focus. So anything that doesn't have that red on it is not in focus. So the goal as a first AC, you wanna try to keep, obviously the subject in focus, so therefore you're gonna try to get as much red on that Daniel? subject as possible. Daniel? Usually I like to keep the uh, sensitivity on, uh, for the threshold low, considering if the sensitivity is low, 
then when I do see the red on the subject, that means I'm really in focus. If I turn the sensitivity up too high, the monitor may think something's in focus when it really isn't. So that's why I like to keep the sensitivity low. So whenever something's in focus and I see that red, that means it's definitely in focus. I do want to talk a little bit about how do I get a video feed onto those monitors completely wirelessly. So on the camera right over here, I'm going to zoom in on that, there's this thing right there with the antennas on the top. You see that? That is the transmitter. In particular, that is the Hollyland transmitter. It's a little bit off-brand because the industry standard is Teradec. All right, let's get back there. Uh, but that is transmitting video via SDI cable. And so I have a, I'm going to go a bit more into that a little bit later, but then that is transmitting video to my AC monitor all the way over here. There's another one of these things right here. You can barely see it. There it is right there. There's another thing right here that's plugged in via SDI as well. It will transmit the video over here. And I'm just umbilical cording. That's just the term for like putting a, a monitor right next to it and putting a cable, tying it to buy a cable. I'm just mimicking it with an HDMI cord right here. So I can get the view on both of these monitors. Rolling. There we go. So the dolly's gonna start moving when the lights come up. I understand the dolly's gonna start moving in a second. I'm going to be pulling as I as he moves. That's my second mark. I'm gonna be doing micro adjustments as he moves. And cut. That's how we do it, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect. There's our, there's our first AC. I got two cameras on me right now. Okay. Yeah. I can. I can. We can stop there. Yeah. That sounds good. Action. Go. I'm pulling completely off of instinct, a little bit difficult, but I think we can get it now that we've done it a couple of times. So let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, beautiful, yes. So as far as I can tell now that we've done it a couple of times, it's just one pull and I'm not really changing from that point. So, let's do it. Oh my God, I think it just died. Camera cuts. All right, cool. Let's do one more time. Yeah. It's gonna be really cool. It's, it's gonna look so good. Boom! 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 Slip it. Hit it. Yeah. Okay. So slip it and then bang. Slip it and then bang. Yeah. And then you could like oh, take that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So next one. You got that pretty, pretty good yeah, so far? Yeah, yeah. All right. The next part. This is the next section coming in. This is the final knockout. So slip. Slip. Boom, Boom, this happens. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on. So it's cool, this is a roll. And so as, as, this is quick too. Okay. So, Boom! Like that. Or it could be. I thought it was your other one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so. Just, Boom! Boom! Nice, guys. Yeah, yeah. We'll that's see how we get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it'll be yeah. something else. Slip! Boom! Boom! Okay. See, that's working. But this one, Power of a Thousand Suns. Beautiful, yes. Yeah, there you go. Make sure you get that, that arm all the way out there. It that is lunchtime. We got Chipotle right here. I can't focus. <laughs> Almost right here. Say hi, everybody. Hi, sorry. I was like, what? Are you trying to do something? <laughs> no, I was. I <laughs> got Mr. DP, man. Yo, what up? What up? 
We got Mr. Director Man. I don't know why I keep everybody call, calling you everybody. Follow Daniel's YouTube. Call, yes. Yeah, donk. 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 It's Donk. YouTube at YouTube.com slash Donk. At Daniel Onderdonk. At Daniel Onderdonk. Donderdonk. <laughs> Donderdonk. Yes, sir. And that, that guy's hilarious. He's, he's, so he's pretty funny. But yes, the majority of the day is just doing basic AC stuff. Pulling focus. Making sure Daniel's shoulder doesn't die. But you're on dolly this whole time. Yeah, we're going to be on shoulder a little later. But. A little later? All right, well, and that's another thing that you guys need to do as an AC. You need to be sure that you help the DP out so that his that their shoulder doesn't break. Right. Like it did yesterday. Like it did yesterday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my fault. My fault. I had to pull focus. He was doing like full squats up with the with the whole rig, like from sitting. He he was, wasn't he? Yeah. I think I must have some crazy quads. You do have some crazy quads. <laughs> the next time you go to the gym, that's your new workout. Just start squatting a 30 pound camera <laughs> on your shoulders. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm gonna finish this up and we're gonna get back to work. Okay, lunch is over, so I'm gonna run through this camera setup with you guys. Yeah. Hello. Daniel. Yo, what's up? Hello, Daniel. Welcome back. You were just here, like, in the last shot. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're working with an FX6, which... Why are we not using FX9, by the way? Uh, because the FX9 can't shoot 4K 60 frames. So. Really? That's lame. Yeah. This is, I mean, this is a newer camera. Better tech. Yeah. The, the no, 6. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what like Canon does, you know? R5, R3. Anyways, FX6 right here. We have our Zacuto shoulder mount on top of an axler quick release, so we can sw quickly go from... Handheld to tripod, maybe that. We also have our just another shoulder mount, I guess. <laughs> we have another shoulder mount, I guess. Why did we do this? For handheld? Okay, so we have that. At the same time, this is that transmitter I was talking about earlier. That's what sends the signal from the camera over to those monitors, which are somewhere down there. That's our full of focus motor. That way I can actually change the focus on the lens from all the way over there with that remote that I was showing you guys earlier. And that is powered by the main V-mount battery that's charging, that's powering the whole camera right here. And a uh, useless monitor that nobody really likes. Yeah, that's just for camera settings, basically. That's just that for don't camera transfer settings. over so they can check our exposure. Oh, yeah, true story. And, uh, uh, the cool thing about this is that we're actually using vintage lenses, but an anamorphic adapter, which turns pretty much every, every any spherical lens into an anamorphic, which I knew that existed somewhere, but... Kind of crazy that that actually exists right in front of me. We have a small rig arm right here just to stick this monitor. And sometimes move this monitor left and right whenever we go from shoulder mount to dolly because we don't want this all the way out here on the dolly. We actually take this whole thing off of the plate uh, before we get to the dolly. But right now we're about to do shoulder mount, and so that'll be fun. So what, fun. What, what, very fun. Yes. So fun. Very fun. <laughs> Yay! What's up? <laughs> right now. Uh, we're setting back up. I move my AC monitor just a little bit lower. So that way I can just kind of sit down and uh, pull my focus as I go. Action. Okay, great. I'm happy with that. All right, 60? Cool. Yeah, 60? 60? Keep going, keep going. Okay, so DP just asked for an 85, 85 lens, so we're going to do a lens swap. Usually you guys are going to be just working with singular lenses, they're not going to be all these adapters or anything like that, but still, it's just simple. We're going to take the motor off, as you can see, so we're going to take the motor off first so that way you can, we can actually add the new lens on there. Uh, I'm going to move this adapter forward, there we go. Guy's a stubborn one. All right, cool. All right, we are coming off for now. All right, so we take this. I'll pass it off. Got it. Mine. Mm. And there's a lot of stuff in that lens. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. There we go. I'll come forward. There nice. We go. There we go. Now we can go in. Put our lens. 
way with this thing like that. That was scary. Locked in. Cool. I'm set. Put our anamorphic adapter back on. Lock it up. Now this is the part that you guys are going to be doing is the swallow focus. We're going to line these gears. Getting close to that, Danny. We're going to line those gears on the teeth. We're going to make sure that we get it on there. Nice and tight because we don't want this to come off while we are pulling focus. And so, other than that, everything should be good to go. And now I'm going to start up right here. If the motor's not on, I'm going to come over here to this side. I'm going to recalibrate it right here by holding this bottom button. And I'm just going to let this do its thing. See, since I tightened that thing down really tight, it's not coming off the gears. You guys see that? Boom, we are now calibrated and we're ready to shoot. That's a wrap on Manny. Good job, man. Yes, sir. Good job. All right, because according to the dolly position, you can barely hear me. According to the dolly position, I will be getting shots and I will be pulling focus as he moves through that dolly. If you haven't heard these three words yet, striking, saving points, I'm going to explain them all to you right now. Striking means the lights are coming back on. Don't look into it or else you're going to be blinded. Saving means they're turning off the lights, so therefore that shows that hey, the light didn't blow out and it didn't go off by itself, they're actually turning it off. And points, points are said by the grips, they're holding you know, things like this that can, that can that have points on them that can hurt you, so move out the way. Go for it. So soft, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I beat you to it. Okay, no, I got it. Oh, okay, you want okay. me to go faster? I'll go faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of want to go faster, All right, go ahead, too. Go ahead. All right, go for it. Yeah, I think I beat you to it again. Okay, okay. I'll go faster. Just, you guys remember, big light source, that's close to your subject equals soft lighting. A small light source, that equals hard lighting. Review the lighting section if you forgot. Okay, we have now wrapped. It is around 11 o'clock right now. I got here at 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m., so it's been a good probably like 13 hour shoot. And real quick, I just want to let you guys know that we just launched our brand new $27 mini filmmaking course. We've got 10 value-packed informational videos that'll take you from zero to an expert cinematographer in just 10 days. We're also going to be adding some extra downloadables in the future, such as aspect ratio calculators, LUTs, and some templates for you all. I'm even going to throw in a really quick discount code for you all right here, so use this at checkout and you can get 45% off. So you can literally get this thing for what? Math. So you guys can literally get this thing for like $15. So if you can spend $15 on Netflix every single month, why not repurpose some of that money into your own education so you can get your own indie films out there? So again, click the link at the top right corner and in the first link in the description below. See you guys out there. But other than that, like always, if you have any more questions, please let me know. And I will see you in the next video.